hi big shavers uh, today uh, another shaving video uh, in this video uh, I will do a shave with some uh, products I will use <laughs> this day today I will use a milder razor it's the Edwin Jagger <laughs> DE 86 Ebony it's a very mild shaver looks beautiful there's a black handle. It has the same head as the uh, Edwin Jagger DE89. Only uh, the handle is different. <laughs> you can look at the blade exposure. It's a very mild shaver. Very mild. Uh, this is the first time that I use my blue. <laughs> Show to you my blue Astra. Super sta superior stainless blades. <laughs> it's the first time I use the blue ones. Normally I uh, use the uh, Astra Superior Platinum. Not the stainless but the Superior Platinum, platinum the green ones. And I like these this, uh, green Astra blades a lot. But <laughs> today I will try the blue ones. And I will use the Le Pair <laughs> shaving soap made in uh, France. Le Pair Lucien La Saffron du Barbier. I know that uh, Bram van den Berg, a Dutch, uh, also a Dutch wet shaver, also a member of the Big Shave, uh, or they also have one of these soaps in his shave den. So it's a very good shaver. Sh Soap came in a very nice container. Here it is. <laughs> Let me show it to you. It has a very strong scent. It has some. Uh, you can see it. It's a very. It's a. It's a soft soap. Also a high quality soap, made in France. Exclusive made by Le Pair in uh, in France, and. When I smell, you, you can s smell it, it has a uh, lavender scent and when I read uh, on the back, you can read which uh, ingredient the soap contains and it also contains some lavandula, <laughs> lavandula, but I think that's French for lav la leven lavender, lavender. In Dutch we will say uh, lavendel. You can smell it. They, they use it in this soap. Now I already letter up the Le Pair shaving soap. As you can see. <laughs> I'll show it to you. Oh, also my brush. This is the brush I use. The Samoke Pure Batcher, the Berkeley. This is back the Berkeley brush. <laughs> Let me show it. Ooh, there's some soap on it. <laughs> the Berkeley. So you can see very good soap. <laughs> nice peaks. It's a good quality soap. Now I will wet my face and today I will use a glycerin based uh, pre-shave soap. I saw some videos of Nick and he's also using this. Sometimes he's also using a pre-shave soap. Hmm. Now it's my pre-shave soap. To dry my hands with a towel because otherwise my hands become too slippery. And then I will start to apply the Le Pair. Oh. Mm, I really like the lavender, lavender scent. Oh, it's a very good soap. Also high quality. I think I have a new fav favorite uh, 
Erik. Ja. Is, uh, the owner of, Erik is the owner of the Dutch web shop. <coughs> Probeer die Figaro. En I have this soap from, uh, from his web shop. He sells it. I can tell you it's another great soap. Hmm, it feels very nice. Ah, good stuff. I like the sand. Hmm. I will try to zoom in with my camera. There was one member of the uh, one subscriber who asked me to do a uh, shave in front, that uh, instead of from the from this left side to do a shave video just in front, because you can. Sh uh, Watch the shave a lot better when, uh, and I think I agree. So uh, this time I film the mirror <laughs> from up here, and hope this will uh, give you a better view on my shave. Now, first impression of the razor uh, of the blade. <laughs> Because I used the Edwin Jagger DE86 many times, but didn't use the Astra Blue Super Superior Stainless Blades. Ah, very good. First impression. <laughs> you see. Cut off some uh, stubbles. <laughs> so it cuts. <laughs> hmm. Oh, my neck area is always very sensitive. Hmm. And I read another comment on my, on my uh, YouTube channel. That is a comment of Terry. He he, uh, he saw my last video about the fat tip and the router. And I'm very honored <laughs> that you uh, that I inspired you to buy a. Um, Fat tip razor. <laughs> he was lucky, Terry, because he ordered one with a gold plated fat tip. I think the, that one will look very beautiful in your bathroom, Terry. <laughs> a real piece of art. It's, uh, I can tell you this Edwin Jagger D86 is less aggressive than the fat tip, but today I just want a mild shave. Of course I need more passes, but it's not a problem. And I will go across the road. I watch a lot of shaving videos of you guys on the Big Shave and on YouTube and they always talk about what's the important part of a shave. Now of course there are some things you have to keep in mind during your shave with a safety razor and don't add too much pressure on the razor and try to avoid that. And but I think there's another part that's very important. <laughs> I think the, the real most, if you uh, control all these techniques and you're very used to a safety razor, and I think if you don't have to learn 
any more things about shaving with a safety razor. I think the most important important thing about a wet shave, traditional wet shave, is just to enjoy your shave. <laughs> That's why a lot of men on the big shave consider this uh, as a hobby, traditional wood shaving. It's just because you enjoy the process of making a good leather. Taking your time to for your shave in three passes, have a nice result. A lot of people are busy with work, and they have a family, they have kids, a very busy life and this is one of the things, shaving is one of the things to, that you have one moment in your busy day to take time for yourself. And don't to th and don't think about all the things that uh, has to happen on a busy day. <laughs> Just relax and enjoy it. <laughs> That's my advice <laughs> for people who like uh, traditional wet shaving or what, or want to start with traditional wet shaving. You need more time with a safety ratio. If you are uh, agree with my with my thoughts about enjoying a wet shave, it doesn't matter that you have to take your time because it's one moment of joy <laughs> during your busy day. A relaxing moment. Mm. Now I will go for my pass against the goat. You can see it in front of my camera. Great late. <laughs> Extra blue. It's not tucky. Very smooth. Very sharp as well. no difference between my Edwin Jacker D86 Black Ebony or the DE89. I think the only difference is the looks of the razor, the head of the DE89 and 86 are uh, similar. There's no difference between the head, but only the handles different. I think they only uh, make these different handles because uh, some people like a black handle and other people like a they also have a white handle and V89 is just a handle made of metal a metal look so I'm with my face putting the less pass just enough left left my soap <laughs> ah, le <père. laughs> oh, my French is very poor but <laughs> but I think I pronounce it correctly le père Lucien la le savon du barbier <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong if my pronunciation uh, pronunciation is not correct <laughs> some French people can, <laughs> can correct me
Now this is my last pass. I also go like this. Hmm. Oh, I still have some cuts, nicks and cuts over here. Hmm. Amazing. Because <laughs> it's a mild shaver. <laughs> but maybe these are some old ones. Uh, when uh, I had to shave with my fat tip. So. Then I uh, became very sensitive. And I think these are some old nicks and cuts. Very smart. Hmm. Now, almost done. Yes, <laughs> I don't talk much right now. <laughs> Concentrate on my shape, but <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to make a video that's very boring. <laughs> but uh, this is my last part of the shape. So. I'm done. I will wash off with some uh, cold water, as always. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, it feels very good. Hmm. Very smooth. Uh, I also show how to how I finish off uh, my shape. Normally, I will. I, I, also in this shave I will uh, finish off with this Arco shaving uh, cologne but uh, I have some mix cuts and I will use my uh, alum block in Dutch we say alum, alum, alum block but in English you call it an alum block um, help you to uh, disinfect, de de disinfect your face and it will help stop the bleeding a little bit and it's just uh, alum now most uh, most of you guys know the what an alum block is and what it does Contain some, some kind of salt, alum salt. It's very effective against nicks, cuts, and it disinfect your skin. So sometimes it can sting a little bit. My alum block. <laughs> I have another one, just this last part. I, I've it, uh, I let it drop on the ground. Oh, it's quite broken, but I use this piece. It's uh, just good enough to uh, to use it for my uh, after my shave. And it. And after this one, I will use a new alum block. Now, after that, I will rinse off with cold water. Take some of this Arco, this Arco cologne. 
can also use another aftershave. If you have very dry skin, maybe you have to uh, skip this part with the cologne or aftershave. Because uh, then it can dry, dry, out, dry out your skin. And Depends on your uh, skin type, if you have to use it or not. And after that I will use some Afta, aftershave balm. You can also use another one. Some guys are using Nivea, Nivea balm. And everything, just the balm, aftershave balm you like. This uh, stuff comes from the United States. It's not available here in the Netherlands. But I received this from some guys from the United States. I'm a lucky D Dutch guy. Then I have uh, some of these AFTA. I also have the blue one. So Still enough after aftershave balm for me. When that is empty, uh, <laughs> I think I have to order some in the United States. Now, this is my shave of today. I was using the Le Père shaving soap. <laughs> oh, let me show you the brush without the shaving soap. This is the brush. Again, the Pure Betcher brush. It's the Berkeley. Nice one. And I was using the Edwin Jagger DE86 Black Ebony. Read the name of the brand over here, and just to prove that I was using the Astra Super Stainless, the blue one. This is the blade I used. Good blade, and now, and of course, last but not least, the Le Père shaving soap, Le Père Lucien La Saf. Le Savon du Barbier. <laughs> For the French guys, I hope my pronunciation was correct. Now, bye bye guys and uh, until my next shave.